It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and Gang Green. And it's all up next. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive, as we have, at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a fun little clash in the AFC, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the New York Jets. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? the former Auburn kicker Daniel Carlson to get this one started and we are underway from MetLife Stadium and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 so now here comes the jet offense as they get ready to take over they are led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson and we all know the scouting report on him he can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Here's Wilson to throw right away. We're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. They'll run with Hull. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Well, didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down, avoiding that three and out. How vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. On first down, right back to Hall. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. 
And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Now it's Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. Second catch for him today, and they'll wind up the first down. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, and I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Now Wilson. I know we spend a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker feeling the route, seeing the quarterback, jumps the play, and knocks it away. Really well done. Now it's second and ten. Hall on a give up the middle. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Now Wilson. And that will be incomplete. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Zerline's kick is up and through. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3 0. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. to kick it off. DeAndre Carter returning it. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. And the first possession is until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now second and nine. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. Pressure to jump all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. They need 18 yards here on third down. From the shotgun, O'Connell. He's going to float this one deep right side. 
it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. Here's A.J. Cole now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Oh, able to avoid him. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Jets will take over. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Last time I remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. From the gun, it's Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pickup there just in front of the two-minute warning. Wilson. He finds his man, complete. That's Wilson. And that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. There's Wilson to throw. He gets it underneath to Hall. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Four yards to pick up, first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath. Hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well, inside the 25. Barney sold the goal route really well. Thought he was going deep. They curled him back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. Now Wilson. Steps away to his left. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. It'll go down as a gain of 6, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Wilson. And Lazard's got it again. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. The result only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up third and one. Wilson. Jets. The 
two Wilson, Zach and Garrett team it up there. And the Jets will extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. And just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. That time, a nine-play drive. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. One second, all that remains. The final shot before break. O'Connell. And his throw here is incomplete. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a strong first half from the former number two overall pick, Zach Wilson. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work, as always, as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, try and slow things down. They got his man complete! So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. Still first down. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Off the play fake, here's O'Connor. And oh, he crops up the football near his own goal line. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Fortunate to get that football back. He's trailing here in the second half. Last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there. Their chance to score points. 
but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Well, this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone. And this is going to wind up a safety. Five-part reduces well in this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That led the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Free kick out of bounds. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Automatic first down. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Hall again. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 14 yards is the pick up there at a jet first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Throwing is Wilson. He'll get this to Lazard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Wilson now off the bootleg. Got a man. Stride. And the Jets are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They give it off here to the tight end. And he is in. Touchdown. C.J. Uzama taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired. 
on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Here's Carter now on the return. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. A throw over the middle, taken in. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 19. A gain there of 21 yards. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Play action. Now Connell. A quick throw there is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Here's second and ten. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll go for it. O'Connell. That is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Jets have got it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And right, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Raiders are going to use one of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. First and 10, it's Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Here's Hall again. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. at the four, here's second and goal. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's gonna take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I suppose it wasn't out of the realm of possibility that we could have seen a comeback, but that touchdown should put any hopes of a comeback out of reach. It's been a really quality effort for him here in this one. And no matter what else you think, you have to admire the initiative to finish things off their way. Don't leave anything to chance, no matter how small the odds of a comeback were. Send it home with a touchdown and get to celebrate it. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. A really good pickup of 28 yards. 
They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Hitting Mayer here on the out route. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all 